Yeah, well, I've been interested in making Owen Winwolds for quite a long time by this stage, but it wasn't until my final year at Canterbury that I actually got around to starting my own one. And here you can see some blades that I'd carved myself out of wood and then coated with some fiberglass resin, resin to sort of give a bit of strength. But I mounted them on a drive shaft and held them into the wind, I guess, just to see how they'd spin up, see how much power I could get in them, and they worked really well. Had to move off the road there because there's a car coming. I think Sophia's on the camera, you'll see her face in a second. But yeah, now you'll see it spin up real fast now. It looks like it slows down there and turns around again, but it's not. It's just still speeding up. It's really humming, sort of. I'm getting a bit scared. It's just the capture rate from the video camera I was using together with the accelerating blade just makes it look like it was slowing down. But yeah, that was as far as I got in Christchurch. I tested a number of washing machine motors as well and all kinds of other things. But then when I was in Taupo later on, I tried making some moulds out of fiberglass so I could make lots of blades all identical sort of things. So I used the single best blade that I had and made some flanges to go around that. I had to go and pick up the fiberglass from I found some factory down in Christchurch that managed to gave me lots of cheap sort of a good supply of everything I needed basically pretty cheap but the bench was all oily to start with so this first attempt here didn't really work because the pedestals I'd made underneath they all sort of fell over. So I had to nail down some clean wood and start again. So I mounted the blade up off the ground again, as you can see, and then hot glued all the flanges on around that, filled in the gaps with plaster of Paris. I was basically learning as I went because I never used fiberglass before, so I was just read some books and got the hang of it. Wax the blade down a couple of times and then pour on the gel coat. And then the fiberglass came on next. I've forgotten how long it took to dry, but the first, yeah, first mould worked really well, turned it upside down and then put the blade inside it to make the second mould but then never got any further than that because I realised it was going to be much trickier than I'd sort of originally thought and ended up buying blades off Eco Innovation instead in New Plymouth.